Hey guys, welcome back to Jersey Shore Beers and Brews Reviews Roundtable. Another fine day out there, right? So far, so good. Got the guys back. Empty. Yeah, really cold start. Who wants to work? Here's right here. What are we, what are we drinking? We're drinking beer. Got, no beer we got some good beer. Good How beer? It's good beer. Say nut again. 12% by volume. Hmm. You're starting out with that stuff, huh? Yep. Okay. Imperial stout with hazelnut, walnut, almond, and pistachios. Pistachios? Yeah, buddy. I wonder if it's me. These are not cheap. Uh, I can imagine. They definitely didn't put the money that they can pour the beer into the label, though. That's for sure. Yeah, well, a lot of them do that. You know, look at the ones that they can do up on the printer and slap them on, on the uh -huh. empty can, and like, boom, you're done. Two pack, 25 bucks. Two pack? Two, two pack. That's the only $25. way they buy. Yeah, I'd say that's uh, this is my better, beer. Better come with a fucking Lamborghini in it. This is my beer. That's like. Uh, These guys are taking it easy again because they got to eat my pasta later. The bull syrupy. Oh, we got some motor oil? We got some motor oil. Oh, nice. Can I get that head going? Well, we pour high enough, baby. How long will it last? Gotta get the tape measure out for this one. That is caramelly. That's Randy trying to kill me. What? Just try I am glad I ate a little before I came over because right. this is a meal. Oh, that's What's it bad. smell like? Smells like a stout. Now it's on my nose. It's like you. It does smell like a stout. When you bake the heavy, you know. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. Just a stout, right? I mean, like a stout time. I, I can kind of smell the alcohol on it, though. Uh huh. Like, I, I hope that I'll taste the alcohol on it because it has a little bit of a. Like a nutty rubbing alcohol. <laughs> really? Okay, well, I don't know about that. But. Well, no, like, like not rubbing alcohol like that harsh, but you know, like that hits Smell the back of your yeah, alcohol. Just, just yeah. Right. I get you. Yeah. It's twelve percent. What do you expect? Let's uh, man, that's a solid head too. Look at that thing. Let's just. It uh, just don't move. Well, you pour it from high enough that you know it's. Kind uh huh. Of, yeah. Want to see? I'm back with this. Okay. Sorry, Where's your safety guns? Oh, dude. Okay. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. I don't know if it's $25 or two cans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's but it's, it's, it's no, good. good. I would. I don't taste really a whole bunch of nuts. These yeah, nuts? I just, I just, but that just don't stand out. And there's nothing nut wise. It just These tastes nuts? like stout to me that's yummy. I mean, you, could, get, you could throw all that in there. Uh -huh. that you can say it's in the ingredients, but it blends together. No one really hangs out that right. it's got this, this, and this in it. Right. I totally I mean, agree. I'm glad it doesn't taste like freaking almond. But uh, I'm glad it doesn't it taste, taste like these, these nuts. nuts. It tastes like a dark brown ale. Yeah. Yeah, no. So that, like, I'm getting, like a serious I'm, one. I'm getting like a Newcastle afternote, like a Newcastle brown ale. Well, that's almost like, that's dark. like a porter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's definitely. Yeah, but it's twelve percent. You ain't you name name it a porter. A little malty, a little bit of alcohol. A little bit of alcohol. <laughs> no, this this tastes like a supercharged um, stout. Yep. I, that's what I would. That's what I would call. It. I wouldn't call it. Say that again. I would call it supercharged stout. At least exactly. Yeah. Um, you're, it, you're, you're getting exactly what you're right. advertising. Because I mean, you're thinking about the ingredients, right. the way they're labeling it, and then you're not yep. taking out the ingredients. You're tasting the whole picture. Correct. I ain't tasting it. Like, I'm tasting chocolate in this. Yeah. Yep. I'm not tasting any nuts. A little vanilla. Where, where were the nuts we had? These <laughs> nuts. <laughs> Hazelnut, walnut, almond, and pistachio. All right. That's now, hazelnut should have stood out, and I think the pistachio should have stood yeah, out. Yeah, but maybe when you blend them all together, they all kind of combine, and you can, none of them stand out. It's possible. Yeah. It sounds like they made a really expensive um, mash, and they had to make the money back. They're normally pretty good. Hubbard's Cave normally makes some pretty good beers. Um, this isn't a bad beer. It's no, just I not know. a good price point for the beer. No. No. Yeah, and, and once again... Randy, you'll agree with me on this one. If you're gonna charge $25 for two cans, make the fucking label pretty. Yep. 
Yep, I always said that. Yep. And here we are now. Entertain us. Well, not only that, if I was going to charge twenty five dollars for two cans, I, I might consider making. But uh, I told you about a free will in Pennsylvania. They have a high octane beer. Yes. And with their high, they can pour eight ounce cans. Now it's thirty two dollars for eight ounce cans, but so you're not you're not captive opening up a whole can at a time. It's just high octane. You take your time, enjoy one. Right. Put it aside, uh -huh. and you're not. Wouldn't be bad if they did that with like an eight pack. Yeah. Right. All right. So there's your big rivals. What uh -huh. do you guys see as far as scores go? Uh, I'm saying that I'm. Well, it's my beer, so I go last. We'll play it. All right. Um, I'm gonna give it an eight. It's a good beer. I might seek it out. Wait, is eight epic for you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eight yeah. is epic I'm and sorry, it means yeah, that like, you're gonna push it. We're gonna, sorry, let's let's take that back. That. Let's let's pump the brakes here. We're gonna put it at seven seven. Okay. It's a good beer. Um and I'm sure just based on how I feel right now when I'm done with this glass, I'm gonna think highly of it. <laughs> um, that's the alcohol I'm talking. Right. I think for marketing wise, it it lacks. I think for flavor wise, it excels, but it doesn't it doesn't compare it doesn't, to labeling. It, it does not um Taste as advertised. Uh -huh. Yep. Which is fucking nuts. These nuts. <laughs> These <laughs> nuts. Yeah. All right. How well, about you? Well, I, and I, I would come in with a seven-seven because you know various it's the same reasons. I mean, it just it like it's just not the label, and uh, it's good. I would take. I would have another one. Yeah. No. But in moderation because it is high octane. But at the same time, at that price point, it almost. Pushes that of it's twenty five for a four pack. That's even you know, that's pushable for for a high octane beer. Twenty five for a four pack. I've paid that before. Yeah. Twenty five for a two pack. Uh -huh. No way. Right. Uh, okay. So me, I'm gonna come in at I'm gonna come in at seven point five. Okay. I'm gonna go under you guys, and the only reason is that's middle of the road to me because nothing stands out inside of that besides the high alcohol. And you know what? I just had a high alcohol from Founders. You know, uh, Backwoods Bastard, it was up 12, 13%. And that was a lot cheaper than this. Tastes really good, too. Um, I'm very disappointed that I don't have any kind of taste on the nut end of this. Um, He's which nuts. is uh, just <laughs> disappointing. I feel like even if the label had a story about how the beer was made or why um, the process took so long, there's an extra thing they did, a special yeast. It's something at age for a while. You know, something you can justify the price point. Mm. Yes, to just literally to just just to justify the price point. Right. But this black uh, and white label, black and white paper label, mm -hmm. matte finish, um, nothing special. Yep. Uh, a non hand model with with nuts in the hand. So. Yeah. Mm. Anybody? Yeah, we could have done that. Yep. I just did it. Yeah. Huh. Um, <laughs> Seriously. No imagination. Mm-hmm. So uh, that's a review, guys. Um, we got uh, one, two, three more coming today. Um, but uh, that's where we're starting. We're starting with a good one here. So we're going to get amped up a little bit. We'll be back in a little bit. Be on my ass in a little bit. Uh-huh. Peace, guys. Later.